Today we're gonna be talking about 10 weapons that noobs think are bad, but they actually kick ass. Yes, we're talking about Bob, who likes to always have those wonder weapons even though he goes down on round 2. And whenever he hear any of these guns that I have on the list, he will straight up call you a noob. I'm just like, you crazy, but if you can guess one weapon right now from this list, drop it in the comments. And also real quick, if you're new to the channel, hey, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video. But at no part particular order coming in at our number 10 spot we're talking about the M8A7 the one that we got in the multiplayer the one that we have in zombies as well now M8A7 is just a solid weapon in multiplayer a lot of people like it a lot of people are like this is my mm, I gotta use this thing a lot of pro players actually use this thing in multiplayer but we're talking about zombies and Trust me, no one really uses this gun, but it's not a bad gun. It's a wall gun, so that's already a plus. It costs 1500 points only to get it off of the wall, and when you pap it, you can actually get 48 ammo in the mag and 480 in reserve, which is just plenty, and it's a four round burst weapon. That's why a lot of pro players actually use it in multiplayer, but in zombies, if you pair this with dead wire, <clears throat> you're actually gonna kill shit, but if you actually say this to Bob that you're gonna get M8 A7, he will straight up call you a noob. But coming in at our number 9 spot, we're talking about this thing called the Vivo. It's a box weapon, it's a SMG, looks like a P90, you know what I'm saying? It has a very low damage and as soon as Bob hears this, like, you're gonna get like a Vivo out of the box and you're just gonna keep it, he'll be like, Nibba, you crazy. He will say that, like, I'm not the one saying that, he will say that. It's a really good gun if you wanna make a lot of points, but if you pair this with Deadwire, shit's crazy. It has 100 ammo in, uh, in the mag and 500 ammo in reserve and it becomes a wonder waff. Of course like on a lower scale and everything like that and it has plenty amount of ammo and if you actually use this thing wisely you can wipe the whole horde of zombies with no damn problems and on top it's SMG meaning that it will have high ass mobility so in that regards it's a solid gun and if you say this to any noobs out there then it's a rip but coming in at our number 8 spot we're talking about DSR from Black Ops 2 Zombies now I absolutely miss Black Ops 2 Zombies although I just played Black Ops 2 Zombies like recently but I really miss Black Ops 2 Zombies drop a one in the chat right now or I mean in the comments if you actually miss Black Ops 2 Zombies but we have DSR which is a sniper rifle if you get this pap and you got double tap and you actually double pap it and you get the iron side sometimes it happens that you gotta pap it again and again and again to get the iron side but as long as you have double tap and as long as you got DSR uh, pack punch and you got iron sights and no like scope or anything like that this shit is gonna melt zombies and all you gotta do is you gotta aim for the head and it's a one shot kill till round 30 you can easily get collaterals just line up a few zombies and watch the collaterals come in. It has 8 ammo in the mag when you pop it and 96 ammo in reserve. It has decent amount of ammo but it gets the job done. That's what I'm trying to say. If you get stuck, just pull it out, be like what what and it will actually get the job done. But if you say this to Bob that you're gonna use a sniper rifle in zombies, he will straight up call you a noob. I don't understand Bob sometimes man. But coming in at our number 7 spot, we're talking about KRM which is like a wall gun so that is already a plus and it's a monster to take down the Papa Panzer, Mama Spider, a mama spider really I'm not totally sure about the mama spider but it is really good to take down Papa Panzer especially in the Rise and Dark boss fight and everything like that right and it's the wagon and if you pair this with like fast mags it reloads insanely insanely fast of course you need to have speed gola of course you need to actually pack a punch it. and it has 16 ammo in the mag and 64 in reserve but the fact is it's a wall gun so you don't really have to worry about ammo too too much you can just buy ammo off of the wall and you will be good to go and it kills zombies super super fast as well all you need is dead wire or maybe even blast furnace i would say anything works really really good even the turn pack punch ability but of course if you actually get that you will be sacrificed your kills your potential kills so I would say go with deadwire or with blast furnace that's like really really good just group all the zombies and hoard them and just like shoot one Karen bullet or one shotgun pallet or however you say it and it will actually activate deadwire or blast furnace and it will just kill all the zombies it is just mm. but coming in at our number six spot we have the Shiva now Shiva is a wall gun it is in the starting room alright and if Bob hear this he will go bozo he will 
straight up go bozo and you want to know what like i'm gonna merge this with number five and then coming in at our number five spot we have the rk5 now if bob hears this like he will just leave my video instantly and everything like that but just bob come back come back hold on hear me out hear me out now if you actually pair the rk5 or the shiva with that uh, dead wire you're going to kill shit basically it's the wall gun so that's a plus you can always buy ammo off of the wall and it is in the starting room and a lot of people do starting room challenges and a lot of people do like easter egg attempts where all they want to use is like shiva and rk5 and they want to make it sound like they're about to do something crazy if you know what i'm saying and i also did this once and shit was hilarious right it's it's just a good meme but seriously try the shiva with dead wire or i mean try the shiva with blast furnace if you're going for the rk5 and if you get the rk5 simply get dead wire and it's going to be a good meme but coming in at our number four spot now pro players always use this but if bob hears this he will straight up go for the memes and everything like that even though he ain't got no game but he will be like hey you you crazy you just got the dragon it's a sniper rifle with very low ammo that's exactly what bob's gonna say and i'm just looking at him i'm saying like what you crazy dragon is just a good meme it's a sniper rifle or i, I should say it's a semi auto sniper rifle it has a scope that you can replace with the evil side you can also get fast mags but dragon is a monster and i would say go with black furnace like any gun that has like very low amount of ammo you should definitely go with uh, uh blast furnace and especially if you have a gun that is not a wall gun you should definitely go with uh blast furnace because all you want to do is you want to shoot one or two bullet every now and then so it can activate blast furnace so that can kill all the zombies but coming in at our number three spot we're talking about this thing called papa dredge now papa dredge it's a lmg a lot of people actually just like to see it but they don't want to actually play with it if you know what i'm saying because the thing about this is it's the LMG and Bob will be like, I don't want to have this because it's not a dingo and you guys can see it's not a dingo that's exactly what he's gonna say like not me i'm not saying that bob saying that like come on guys like bob saying that but the thing is like dredge it's a six shot burst gun all right you get it it's a six shot burst it has 120 ammo in the in the mag and 720 ammo in reserve when you pop it and it works so so well with blast furnace all you gotta do is just gotta train zombies you know what i'm saying just like go in the circles you know like how that goes like i don't even have to say shit just go in circle pull that trigger once and watch the zombies melt it's just a good meme and i swear like if you have a wonder weapon or let's say if you're playing the giant and you got wonder waff and you already know wonder waff is a lightweight weapon right so if you're actually training with that and you're running around while having wonder waff in your hands and the next thing you know boy oh boy you got that dredge you press triangle or why why it doesn't matter right you just press that you pull your dredge out one trigger it is just a good meme but coming in at our number two spot we're talking about the executioner now if bob looks at me and says like this is a bad gun like trust me i will just like end everything like I i'm actually working on a 10 things noobs do part 4 video so it's in the works so if bob says this gun is a bad gun i swear that will go in the shithole and i will never revive that series again but executioner is here to my heart it has five ammo in the mag or in that like shotgun thing or whatever like it's a handgun or it's a shotgun handgun if you know what I'm saying and it has 100 ammo in reserve or pallets or whatever doesn't matter right it's a deer this gun is dear to my heart it has very high mobility and it's a good meme if you're in a sticky situation you don't need papa all you need is executioner and trust me it's <clears throat> coming in at our number one spot we're talking about the pharaoh now i know you want to be triggered i know i can feel it I, I i know how it is but uh at our number one spot we have the pharaoh now pharaoh it's such a good gun not when not when you're running it naked you just gotta pop it and you gotta have dead wire it's very important it has 60 ammo in the mag and 300 in reserve when you pop it and it's a four shot burst gun and if you actually pair this with dead wire this is like a mini wonder waff and of course it's the smg and it has very high mobility it's a good meme trust me try it out i was actually playing with 